Behind the game of one-on-one, -on -one, hundreds of sick people at Al Lopez Park lined up for their shot to find out if it's COVID they're up against. Headaches, my eyes hurt when I move them, sore throat, coughing, congested. 17-year-old Gabrielle Michelle waiting hours to find out. I wish it wasn't so long. I didn't think this many people would be here. The parking lot was at capacity as soon as it opened at 7 a.m. The testing line stretching hundreds of yards through the park. Some folks waiting as many as four hours. A few people even required medical treatment for standing sick in the sun so long. It is a wait, and it's not a wait because we are not working as hard as we can. It's more wait because of the demand. Police had to open and close the parking lot through the day to allow cars to cycle through. That only added to the confusion. Judy Hernandez recently yeah. tested positive yeah. on a 1 to 10 scale. She described her symptoms like this. <coughs> right now, um, it's probably about 8 at least right now. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's worse than having a flu or a cold. Experiencing it, it's, it's, it's sometimes you feel like, you know, you're, <laughs> you're about ready to die almost, you know. Not the way anyone wants to start off the new year. Al Lopez is open for another hour tonight. It's also open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. But of course, again, plan for more lines. There are other sites available as well. For more on that, head to fox13news.com. Back to you.